Good day, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Favi, and welcome or welcome back to Arrows DIY. Today's video is a fun one. I'm teaming up with my friend Jenny over at Lovely Moments Creating to bring you some Dollar Tree birdhouses. So be sure to check out her video right after this one in the description box below. At the Dollar Tree, I picked up this wood house sign. I have two of them. One is black, one is white, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna flip them over anyways. I go ahead and give the inside a coat of white paint. I like to use the folk art line because I only need to give it one coat for full coverage. Once it's fully dry, I'm going to go in with these wood square pieces from the Dollar Tree called wood planks. It comes in a pack of six and I'm going to take three of them and glue them like so. I use a combination of tight bond and hot glue. My hot glue is Gorilla Hot Glue and as you can see there, I'm just going to make some dashes making sure that the two glues do not mix. So I go ahead and add some glue at the bottom of the bottom portion of the wood piece and I hold it in place until it's all set. Now to add more stability, I'm going to add some of these wood pieces from my stash. These were going to go in the garbage and I figured I might as well use them and save them from the landfill. You could also use tumbling tower blocks. I can add glue in different spots. I always start with the wood glue first so that I have time to add the hot glue before the hot glue sets. And I go ahead and I add it like so in between the two pieces. Now this is just gonna add more stability and no one is gonna see these, so don't worry about that. Once this structure is made, we're gonna go ahead and add our house pieces to the sides. So once again, I add the type on glue on the corners and at the top portion. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add the hot glue in between the type on glue. You could also use the Dollar Tree wood glue, which works great, or any adhesive of your choice. I just happen to have this on hand. So then once all the glue is put on there, I'm gonna go ahead and just put the house piece on that side and hold it, and hold it until it sets. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side and once all the glue is applied, we're gonna go ahead and stand up the house quickly before the hot glue sets to make sure that everything is nice and level to the surface of the table. You wanna hurry up and do this part before the hot glue sets. And it's extremely sturdy. I was surprised at how quickly I was able to make this little adorable birdhouse planter. Now, I put some heavy bottles on it and I let it set for a couple hours. Once it was all set, I wanted to add a decorative feature to this birdhouse. Obviously, you can decorate this however you like. Now, I'm gonna use this tissue paper from Dollar Tree. It's fairly thin, so I'm gonna use my favorite Mod Podge no wrinkle method. I'm gonna take some Mod Podge and just cover the entire surface of the square on the side. And once it's all covered with a nice, even coat of Mod Podge, I'm gonna let it completely dry. Once it's dry, we're gonna put our tissue paper on top and we're gonna use an iron. You can use a, using a mini iron is preferable just because it's able to fit into this tiny spot. So once my mini iron was heated up and ready to go, I took some wax paper and I covered the tissue paper and I ironed tissue paper onto the wood. So I start in the middle of the paper and I move outwards from the center moving out to the edges. It's very important to also seal the edges so that your paper doesn't lift. And this is the best way to not get any wrinkles. I also use a sanding block to sand off the edges. Then I use my X-Acto knife and give it a nice clean edge. I did this to both sides. Once we're done with the sides, I'm gonna go and add this decorative feature to the face of the birdhouse. I took some craft sticks, the wide ones from Dollar Tree, and I'm gonna go ahead and just size it up so that it fits inside, inside the frame on this birdhouse. So I cut them down to size. I cut about eight craft sticks. I sanded down the edges and I painted them in this chalk color called Foggy. You can color it any color. You can paint your craft sticks any color you like to fit your home decor. 
Once they were nice and dry, I took some hot glue and I ran a line of hot glue on the edge of the craft stick. And then I hot glued it on an angle, overlapping the bottom frame just a bit. Here I'm showing you exactly how I did that. Now I'm gonna use some hot glue and just run it on top of that and place the next craft stick overlapping the first one. And I'm just gonna continue this until most of the house is covered. Now, I thought this would be kind of cute. It's kind of farmhouse. And we're making a shutter birdhouse. So I'm gonna go ahead and just keep adding hot glue and craft sticks like so. You could cover the entire face of the birdhouse if you wanted. Now, I apologize because I'm missing some footage, but for the hole in the birdhouse, I just used the rounded end off one of the craft sticks and I cut that off. I antique waxed it and made it brown and that's what I used for the entrance of the birdhouse. I took some of these door handles. I got these at the 99 cent store or the dollar store by my house and I paid $1.49 for them. And I thought this would be a nice feature to add to this little birdhouse to give it a rustic feel and to act as the perch for the birdhouse. I added some antique wax and using a paintbrush, I just stippled it on. So I did this for both of them and I added a, a lot I added a good amount of antique wax and I let that sit for a while. For a more grungy, distressed look, you want to let this dry. I just wanted a little bit of distressing, so I took a rag, a small rag, and pounced it on to take off most of the antique wax. Now I used some hot glue uh, for filming purposes and I just hot glued it to the top shutter like so. There you can see the rounded end of the craft stick that I used for the entrance for the birdhouse. And you want to be careful when you add this handle because it gets very hot because of the hot glue. I used some pliers to take off the hanger on top. So now I took one of the screws that also came with the door handles and I screwed it to the top and I thought it was such a cute little addition for a chimney for our birdhouse. Now I just took a greenery that I got at Ikea and I just put it inside and how simple it is to make such a lovely little birdhouse shutter planter. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. As I mentioned before, this video is in collaboration with my sweet friend Jenny over at Lovely Moments Creating. So she also made a video showcasing Dollar Tree birdhouses. I'm gonna go ahead and leave her link for her video in my comment section below as well as my do my description box and just check out her channel she is so amazingly creative and such a lovely person i know you're gonna love her ideas and personality so head on over and uh, let her know that fabi sent you and if you're coming over from jenny's channel i want to welcome you i hope you're enjoying yourself and if you are please give me a big thumbs up and, and subscribe if you enjoy unique home decor on a budget for our next project, we're gonna be making one of these tiny birdhouses. You can find these in the crafter square section of Dollar Tree or maybe the kid toy section. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use some antique wax. So I applied the antique wax to the face, to the outside of the birdhouse. And then I wiped off the excess with a small rag. Next, I just built the birdhouse according to the instructions using hot glue. For the roof pieces, I'm gonna use this chalk paint in the color Cascade and I thought this is a beautiful color for spring. I'm going to go ahead and paint the top, the sides, as well as little portions of the back because you are going to see them once we build the birdhouse. You will see the bottom portion, the bottom edges of the roof pieces once it's all built. Next I took the little perch piece where the little bird sits. And I'm gonna go ahead and just paint that in the same cascade color. I just love the combination of this cascade blue color and the antique wax. So now I'm gonna add a little bit of this reindeer moss from Dollar Tree to the bottom of the birdhouse just to give it some earthy feel. Next, I went, next I'm gonna add this little hinge from the same from the 99 cent store 
and I'm just going to distress it with antique wax just as before to give it some rustic feel and to tone down some of that gold I do like gold in my home decor but I kind of wanted it to tone down a bit so I add the antique wax and I let it sit for for a bit probably about three minutes and now with a small rag I'm gonna go ahead and just dab it to create a rusted texture Once the paint is fully dry on the, t on the roof of the birdhouse, I'm going to use some hot glue and I'm going to attach the hinge right on top. I think this is so cute. It adds a charming little feature to our birdhouse. If you're new around here, my name is Favi. I am a busy mother of six and I craft and DIY on my spare time. I love making home decor that's unique and brings a smile to the faces of my family members as well as myself. I also enjoy making home decor for therapy. So I hope you subscribe and leave a comment below saying hi because I love hearing from you guys. So once I hot glued the roof on this little birdhouse, I thought it was just so sweet. And now I'm gonna take this wood plaque from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna take off all of the stickers and hangers. And once it's fully ready, to be painted I do so and I'm gonna use the same foggy chalk pink color I love this color it's kind of uh, in between a white and a gray it's a very light gray color but it's just so beautiful so I go ahead and I just give it one rough coat because I do want to see the wood through the paint color Next, I take these clear stamps from Dollar Tree and they have these beautiful birds on there as well as this ink pad from Dollar Tree. I've never tried it before and I figured, why not today? Today's the day. So I cut pieces of the stamp because that way it's easier for me to hold and I keep the backing on the stamp. And I'm gonna go ahead and just stamp it on to this piece. Now, my Dollar Tree had this blue color I've never used this ink pad before from Dollar Tree and I was afraid it was gonna be very dark but as you can see it came out a lot lighter and it matches perfectly with the cascade color so I stamp on the phrase have a nice day and I also stamp these birds if I was to do this again I would probably change the position of the bottom bird because you'll see in a little bit he kind of gets covered up but no big deal So this is what it looks like when you use the stamps from Dollar Tree and the ink pad. I think Dollar Tree did a good job for $1.25. But let me know in the comments below if you've tried this before. Now it's time to attach the birdhouse. So I add some hot glue and I made a mistake and I added the hot glue first so here I am frantically trying to add the other glue and I'm making a big mess but I use a tumbling tower block to stick it on to the wood plaque as you can see I cleaned up my mess I got a little glue happy so I use a craft stick to take off the excess glue and then I add it to the other side of the tumbling tower block and this is gonna help us attach the birdhouse to this plaque once it's all attached, I'm going to go ahead and add some accent features with my favorite gold color, Mayan Gold, Treasure Gold, by Folk Art. And I'm going to add a gold feature to the front of the perch, as well as random spots around the roof. I also paint the edges of the wooden plaque sign to give it a more finished look. I also add a little bit to the bird hole, to the little hole in the birdhouse. So once that's all done, I noticed I could see some tumbling tower blocks. So we're gonna go ahead and add some more of that reindeer moss to the back edge of the birdhouse. And I use my X-Acto knife to get into that little spot. I also added a little greenery for my stash to give it more of an earthy feel 
and I'm loving how it's turning out. Now I'm just gonna add a hanger. So I'm gonna add, take some jute and um, some hot glue and I'm just gonna secure it in place with a little piece of the craft stick that was left over from our first project. Now we're gonna add these stickers. I just folded it and put it inside and with the help of a pen, um, actually a Sharpie, I'm just gonna adjust it in place because you can not see it from the inside. That way it gives a hint of gold that's visible from the front of the birdhouse. And that's it for this one. I love how this one turned out. So easy to make on a budget. Let me know what you think about this one in the comments below. This is a quirky, fun little piece. Let me know what you think. Now for our last project, we're gonna use this house sign from the Dollar Tree. It's called Decor, like 99% of Dollar Tree's crafter square items. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the hanger, and now I'm gonna add a good coat of Mod Podge. So we're about to add something to this house, and it's relatively thick, so we do need a lot of Mod Podge. So if you're the Mod Podge police, we need this much, okay? We need this much Mod Podge. Now I'm gonna take this gift bag from the Dollar Tree, and it's so cute. It's very, I thought this one was so cheeky. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adhere it like so. I cut off the side of the bag that had all the images on it, and I'm trying to place it so that the bird is completely on the sign. And it did take some work uh, to get what I wanted on this sign. So I'm just gonna keep moving it around to make sure that the bird is on the sign. <laughs> and uh, I wanted the whole bird on the sign. Now I didn't realize that the top rim was reinforced. So I do have to, so I do have to take off, I have to unfold the top portion of it. I have to unfold the top portion of the bag and take off the other layers of the cardboard so it lays flat. Once I do that, it was relatively easy to lay down. I did have to add more Mod Podge and lay down the bag. I cut off the excess around the bag and then I used a sanding block to sand off the edge of the sign so that it has a clean edge. Now I use an X-Acto knife to bring out the palette marks on the sign. Now I use some sandpaper to distress the edges of the sign and some of the picture. I also use the sandpaper to take off some of the glitter because there was some glitter on the bird. You can keep the glitter on if you like glitter, but I know most people cannot stand glitter. So this one's all on you. Now I use some antique wax and I, I hit the spots that I distressed. Now this particular bag had a plastic layer to it. So some of it did peel off. So whatever peeled off, I took off and I added the antique wax once again. Cause I was thinking that maybe it would make it look like wood. So once I add the antique wax, I leave it on for some time and then I wipe it off completely. And as you can see, it tones down the yellow color. It tones down all the colors on this picture. So they aren't so bright, but it still has more of that antique charm. Now I'm gonna take this wooden piece from the Dollar Tree and I'm gonna use my heat gun to try to take the stick off of it. I was at Dollar Tree with my daughter and she saw this little sign and she said, this would be perfect for a bird household. So I, I think that was a great idea. So I went ahead and I just, uh, thought it would be perfect to add to this project. It also had staples here. It's as if Dollar Tree did not want me to take this wood photo frame apart. They used all the powers on this one. They had wood glue as well as staples on this little piece here. So once I struggled to get it off, I painted it in, my sa in the same foggy chalk paint color. And I also took off the little brackets in the back with some pliers. Once it was fully dry, I wanted to put it at the top, but obviously it was a little too big. So I thought it would be fun to add it right here at the bottom. Cause we know that bird, ha we know that birds are resourceful and they will use 
anything to make a home. So I thought it'd be cute to kind of add the bird hole at the bottom, kind of unconventional and quirky. I took some ribbon and some greenery, some eucalyptus greenery for my stash, and I just used some twine to make a bow. I tied the greenery to the back of the bow, and I'm gonna secure everything with hot glue. I trim down the twine at the back and I fluff up the bow. This ribbon is from Dollar Tree and I thought it would look so nice and bring out the black in the little bird's wing. I add some hot glue to the top of the sign and I attach it like so. It does take a while to attach, so you do have to hold it in place until the hot glue sets. I got tired of holding it, so I actually put a coffee mug on top to hold it in place as it set. Now for the little bird house hole, I'm gonna go ahead and just add some hot glue to the bottom of it and some Spanish moss to give it some of that earthy vibe. And then I'm going to use the tag that came on the gift bag I flip it over and now I'm gonna use one of those stamps from Dollar Tree once again I'm gonna stamp on the word beautiful and it fits perfectly I love when that happens so now to add more of that antique rustic charm I'm gonna add some antique wax using the kid brush from Dollar Tree and I'm just gonna add it to the edges to distress the edges lightly once the edges were distressed, I dabbed it on the corners and the little hole as well. Now the shape was kind of bothering me, so I wanted to soften it up. So I kind of curved the edge there. And now I'm going to use a little tiny rag to rub the antique wax. Now the antique wax is kind of dry and it's important to let the ink on the word beautiful dry completely before you do this step. But as you can see it gives it that antique charm. Makes it look like it's been loved for a long time and I just love that in my home decor. So then I I rub it some I add some more antique wax lightly there's almost no antique wax on my paintbrush to make sure that it's a nice, faint distressing. And then I crumple up the paper to give it more of that antique look. So now I take a little nail from Dollar Tree. It's a little gold nail. They have it in the hardware section. And I'm just going to attach this tag sign with the nail. You do want to use a hammer, that's preferable, but the closest thing to me was this piece of wood. So I'm just going to use that to hammer it in, but you know, you do what you want on your project. I hope my husband doesn't see this because, do you do this too? Now I'm gonna go ahead and use the little handle from the gift bag, and I made a little bow out of it and I'm going to cut the ends off and kind of fray them a bit so they look earthy and distressed. You could also add antique wax to the ribbon if you like that kind of thing. Now I'm gonna just cut the ends of the tails and fray them so they kind of look like a bird nest. And I'm loving how this one is turning out. Now I did have to cut a little bit of that dot, that polka dot off of the ribbon to help me fray it some more. Now I'm gonna take some Spanish moss and I'm gonna put it at the top of the bow as well as the bottom of the bow to hide some of that hot glue. And it's also gonna tie the bow to the nest at the bottom of the bird hole. So it kind of makes the whole cohesive it makes the hole look cohesive. Now once that's done, I'm gonna poke the holes back 
using the Dollar Tree Cricut tool and then just put the hanger back on there. And that's how this one turned out. I think this one is so fun. It's gonna look so great in my kitchen throughout the summer. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comments below. If you wanna follow me, you could follow me over on Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, and TikTok. You could support my channel for free by hitting the thumbs up button. It really helps me out. I appreciate every single one of you taking time out of your day to create with me. If you'd like to support my channel financially, you could do so on the link to buy me a coffee. I'll leave it in the description box below. You totally don't have to, but you could if you want to. And if you do, thank you. A special thank you to Jenny over at Lovely Moments Creating for collaborating with me today. I had so much fun creating these DIY. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Take care, God bless, and I'll catch you on the next one. Don't forget to check out my friend Jenny's video in the comment section below. If you like this video, here's another one you might enjoy.